Hello everyone, this is WonderVision. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the latest projects I've been working on. It kind of combines OpenCV, neural networks, and just Python programming in general. While on Christmas vacation, I learned about this game called WordStreak, and well, it's basically like Boggle, and it, well, it's called Boggle kind of now. It's a word, Boggle with friends. It's up to you to find as many words as you can with the adjacent letters. Um, and you've got a two minute time limit. And of course I look at this from a programming perspective and I'm like, huh, you know, I can write a program that takes all these letters and finds all the words and plots out the path to draw all, all the words. And if I kind of set it as a challenge to myself to do that. And that's what I did. So at first, what I did is I just wrote a program that took the letters manually and then it spit out all the different words for, for each starting letter. And of course, I wanted to take that to the next level and be able to determine what the letters are using a screen capture. So what you see here is kind of the final product. Um, I have it using OpenCV, it does a screen capture, and then it uses a, a, um, the edge detection technique to find all the different edges, and then I have it to find all the four-sided contours, and then I only filter out the specific size of contours. And yeah, I know it's not, it's not super general. Uh, I mean, there's definitely some cases where it, it messes up, and thinks that certain things are squares when they're not but not part of the squares and things like that. Of, but it works good enough um, that you can see here that it's obviously working. Yeah, so I found this data set that was, I think it was like a thousand images per letter. And it was basically what it was, is each image was a, a different font style. Like some of the fonts were capitalized, uh, italicized, bold, and it, it kind of went through all these different types of fonts and different styles. And basically, I trained the neural network on those images so that it knew what letters the letters were, because I wasn't exactly sure what font this was, and I didn't have to go through and round up all the different letters. So I, I just trained it on a general set of fonts to figure out what the letters were. And then, so that's what it does. It takes the, it extracts the letters from the grid and passes them to the neural network, and it um, gives the result of what letter that image is. And that works all fine and dandy until the fact that the QU is one tile and none of the images, of course, have QU as one tile because that's not a letter. <laughs> it's two letters. Uh, so the other thing I had to do, um, basically I got the QU tile and I do the special check just because I didn't want to have to go through... Um, and redo a bunch of stuff. So I have a special QU check where it takes a QU image that I load up and does a subtraction with the, the image of the letter. Uh, everything else, uh, if it's not a QU, then it passes it into the neural network for determination of what the letter is. Uh, what, you, what you see here is I've got Android running on VirtualBox. And then, so I start the mouse in the bottom left corner just as kind of a starting point, and then I go over and I start the script, and then it moves it over, moves the mouse over into the virtual box and clicks, makes one single click, and because the virtual box mouse isn't the same position as the um, the mouse on the host operating system, that's why I kind of have to start it at a position that I know like, that I know every time, and so the first thing it does is it takes it and moves it a set amount up and a little bit over to, to the top left corner. And it doesn't type in all the words that it know it finds, it just only types in the first 100. And the, the order that it goes in the words is it actually, I have it calculate the, the score of the words. And the, high, the highest score goes first. Uh, yeah, and you can see that when there's the, the double letters and the double words, it actually determines what those are by sampling the, 
the pixel value, and if it's within a certain color range, then it knows that it's a double word, or a double letter, or a triple letter, or a triple word. And so you can see here that the it actually shows you kind of like, oh, that's this letter, and it's a double letter, or if it's this letter, and it's a double word, or you can kind of see that. And so yeah, um, that was a pretty fun project, because it kind of, kind of combined OpenCV, neural networks, um, mouse control. It it was it was it was quite a project and a kind of, kind of a challenge. Um, obviously, I can do some optimization on the looking at the words. I I, I kind of did that. It was very quick and not necessarily efficient. I did optimize a little bit where I spin them all off on their own threads. At this point, it works well enough that I could say that hey, you know, this is. It was a fun project. Um, I accomplished a bunch of things, and yeah, thanks for watching the video. And um, still not sure if I want to release the source code yet or not because I don't know if I want everybody cheating at uh, Boggle with friends, and I'm not sure if they would let me like me to do that. So <laughs> I will. I don't know. I'll think about it.